Today, Melody and I are taking you along with us to explore the Ross Maxwell Scenic Drive in Big Bend National Park. Let's get to it. Our first stop on the Ross Maxwell Scenic Drive is Sotal Vista. Take this in. Big Bend National Park is expansive. On a storyboard at the Vista, it says you are now gazing toward Mexico, the Rio Grande, and Santa Elena Canyon. The destination of the scenic drive will be uh, in San Santa Elena Canyon later today, folks. But it says the sharp a mountain out here is Goat Mountain, and then Santa Elena Ca Canyon is between it and Kit Mountain. And you can see those points right out here. Santa Elena Canyon is the destination where we're going today is right out in there. This shore is pretty countryside. I'm going to give you a little panoramic view here. Sure glad we decided to do this scenic drive in this portion of the park. It's much different than the Rio Grande portion of the park. Our next stop on the Ross Maxwell Scenic Drive is Burrow Mesa Pour Off, right in here. We just came down the hill from Soto Vista. Way do you see Burrow Mesa Pour Off, folks? Take in that scenery, folks. This is the Lower Mesa Pour Off. It is a one mile round trip hike, 120 feet elevation gain. And that is some pretty darn neat scenery up in there. This whole area along this trailhead is pretty darn neat. You can see the cliffs that are at the foot of the Rio Grande off in the distance. This lower burrow mesa pour off is so neat Melody wants to take a hike up in there. So dogs are not allowed on the trails here in the National Park. I'm going to hang around the trailhead with Milo. Melody is going to go up into the Lower Burrow Mesa Pour Off and check it out. Here's a few photos and video clips from along the trail. The storyboard back at the trailhead says that these colored striations in this rock are from volcanic activity. Melody and I are now at the Mule's Ear Viewpoint. Vegetation is starting to change. And a lot of volcanic rock. But there's a rock formation uh, just uh, over th this ridge. When I get to the top of this ridge, there is a really interesting rock formation. Let's go up there and check it out. Trailheads back that way. There's more of that volcanic rock. And then the, the ridge where I'm off to is right over here. So I'm taking a guess here, but that uh, the trail is heading off toward that very interesting peak over there. And I'm assuming that's Mule's Ear. 
Once you reach the Mule's Ear Trailhead, if you walk up to the top of the ridge, you'll have views like this. Well worth the very short hike up to the top of this ridge. And to show you how close the trailhead is to where I'm standing on top of this ridge, I'm going to give you a little panoramic view here. There's Melody and Milo waiting for me back at the trailhead. And I'm seeing a lot of this new type of vegetation. This plant here almost looks like aloe vera, aloe, but it's not. If somebody knows what that plant's called, you can let me know in the comments. And those plants are scattered all through here. So you can see, it is very scenic out here at Big Bend National Park at Mule's Ear Viewpoint. So Melody and I have followed the Ross Maxwell Scenic Drive clear down to the Castellon Visitor Center. We're here right now, let me show you around. Along the scenic drive, you'll see sights just like this. This is Goat Mountain. So this is the parking area at the Castellon Visitor Center. There's the Ranger Station and Visitor Center uh, right in front. Those are the restrooms, folks, right behind Melody, over Melody's head there. Um, not what I expected. I thought it was going to be built up uh, the way the park headquarters was and the way the Rio Grande Village uh, store and Visitor Center uh, are they're very developed areas uh, this is a gravel road coming in here they have a few exhibits i did get my book stamped let me take you around uh, the porch there on the other side of the visitor center so right on the other side of this building here they have an area where you can get your book stamped and there are a few exhibits i assume the rio grande river is down in there Scenic Drive continues out that way. And I got my book stamp right in this building here. And there's an exhibit right over uh, there by that fence that talks about a fire. And that may explain the conditions of this visitor center. Let's go take a look at that sign. So Melody did read this sign and it appears there was a fire here in 2019, May of 2019, and it took out the visitor center, the existing visitor center. This was the uh, visitor center before the fire and after the fire. And just before you pull into the visitor center parking area, they have the Castellon store. It is open. There's a soda machine here, ice machine, a couple of a couple picnic tables. We're going to check out the inside of the store. So two notes. The uh, store was uh, just very minimal, minimally stocked. And the restrooms do have flush toilets in there. So let's hop back in the truck. We're going to head from the Castellon Visitor Center following the Ross Maxwell Scenic Drive. And we're going to go down to the Santa Elena Canyon Overlook. Well, folks, Melody and I got hungry, so we stopped at Santa Elena Canyon Picnic Area. This is where the river access is. Um, that's Mexico, right on the other side of the Rio Grande. Let's walk down and take a look at the river. We have a, a couple picnic shelters down here and a boat ramp. Well, Santa Elena Canyon Trail is up that way. We'll be going up there here in a few minutes, but looking downstream uh, that's the Rio Grande River folks there's a boat ramp here people want to canoe 
kayak down the river. This is a wild and scenic river. It's the Rio Grande, and look at how steep that canyon is. That is really something. Well, the highlight of this scenic drive is the Santa Elena Canyon Trail. Let's head up that way and check it out. Well, we're almost to the trail, the Santa Elena Canyon Trail. This is uh, the Santa Elena Canyon right here. On the left side of that V is Mexico, on the right is the United States. And you can see the Rio Grande River right in the center of your screen at the bottom. So, I assume the trail is going to go up that canyon. And the platform that I was just standing on is the Santa Elena Canyon Overlook. If you're following the Ross Maxwell Scenic Drive in Big Bend National Park, I highly recommend stopping at the Santa Elena Overlook. Well, folks, this is the highlight of the scenic drive, the Santa Elena Canyon Trail. Let's go check it out. Well, the trail heads back that way. It's heading downstream. This is the Rio Grande River right here. Looks like the Rio Grande River runs up through Santa Elena Canyon. Then we have a creek going down this way. So the way I'm reading this is uh, on the right side of the V is the United States. On the left side of the V is Mexico. And we're crossing right over here, but we're not crossing the whole river. We're crossing just the creek and then going up into here, up on that hill and up the canyon, I believe. We'll find out here in just a minute. Okay, so no, not too technically difficult. It sure is pretty out here. Got these little stepping stones. Probably even get across here without getting my feet wet. There you go. So I'm across that creek. So see, that's the creek there. That's the Rio Grande up there. So, still in the United States. This is where the Rio Grande River flows out of the Santa Elena Canyon. It's only about 10 feet wide right there at the neck, folks. That is Mexico right there. from the Santa Elena Canyon Trail in Big Bend National Park. I think I'm gonna leave it here. If y'all like these videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road.